so we should strip on camera. Yeah. <laughs> Hi everyone, my name is Ryan Casada, and I'm here with Charles Asher, the original gangster of trans YouTube. The OG. What up? What up? Yeah. So right. we want to make. Yeah, we're we're in Jacksonville, Florida. We're in the deep south Isn't right that weird? now. Is it's this weird. A, is, was it weird for you to kind of see people and yeah, how different it's, it is? Yeah, it's different, but there's it hasn't that been bad, southern though. hospitality. I like it. Yeah, no people's weird accents. Stuff. You like picking it up a little bit. Do I have bit. a little accent? All right, I got a twang here. <laughs> well, it's picking up, it's picking up. We want to make a video about top surgery. Yeah, I guess we'll, we'll strip for you and then we'll explain our chests. All right. We got back. Oh, yeah. Oh, I was gonna twirl around. Oh man, this button. Oh, no, that accent's not long. <laughs> All right. All right. Cool. Fisher represent. So, oh, yeah, Brownstein. When I came out, these were, like, the only two out there. Garamone really? wasn't even. People, he had done, Garamone had done five surgeries. So what What year did you come out? I came out in 2005. 2005, okay. Started. I think I came out in 2008. Cool, cool. And then, uh, yeah, I had my surgery in December of 2006, and you had it in June. January of 2012. So that's also to your So we're six years apart, right? Yeah, and our scars are pretty fucking cool. Like, yours are amazing. Like, three years out. Like, they're not even like, like, But yeah, we both got double incision. Like, I was about... I was a pretty large B before T. Oh, like, really? And then it shrunk them so much to, like, an A. So, the T shrunk it? Yes. Oh, okay. Like, so... I was probably about the same. I was pretty I was pretty small. Yeah, yeah. So... And that's like, I could have... I was qualified for keyhole. That's what I wanted. Were you? Yeah, and I and sent her pictures. Why did you not get keyhole? I really, I've debated between scars, no scars, yeah, scars, yeah, yeah, yeah. no scars. I really want scars. Now I love them, I own them, they're my battle scars. But, yeah, um, me too. Keyhole, I really want a keyhole and I want the scars. I sent Fisher pictures. I sent, I had constant, constant with Brownstein. He goes, no way am I doing keyhole on you. So I said, oh wow. Okay. And then, um, so Fisher, she's kind of known more for doing whatever. So I had a consult with her, sent her my... Whatever she goes, oh yeah, I can do that. Oh, okay. And um, I show up, have a consult the day before my surgery. You know, because we're down in Florida, she's at the Baltimore. Um, she's like, I, I could do it. She's like, but with the skin, because it literally was like, you know, they were whatever. Mm -hmm. Then they shrunk to where it's just so much extra skin. She goes, uh, you would have to have many revisions with a keyhole. You can expect mm -hmm. at least one. At least one, you're gonna have one just because guaranteed almost. With, almost because the nipples, um, they. They can't resize them. You're gonna have bigger nipples, and sometimes they don't take enough out. If they take too much out, it'll be concave. So the double incision is a little bit more perfected at this point. It can point, be absolutely right? perfected. Especially in trend. 2006. Exactly. What double incision was like the first one. Uh, yeah, maybe? yeah. Developed by Brownstein, pretty much. I yeah. mean, you know, he kind of expanded yeah. on techniques used for just regular mastectomies and kind of did the male re reconstruction. I was afraid to get keyhole because I'm not on hormones, so I don't know if there would the be regrowth or something. And who, like, oh, who yeah. knows the. The technology or like yeah, you don't need nothing's that. researched that much yet. Double incision. Brownstein said like n over ninety six percent of the breast tissue is gone, so there's no chance yeah. of it growing yeah. back. It's impossible even without being on T or even I being on the pill. Good. So yeah, that's that doesn't happen. So like that's, good, yeah. that's why I got this. But I mean, I haven't had any revisions. I had you? just one. Uh, it wasn't for an aesthetic thing. I had had um, like a hematoma in here, and it actually now looking back at pictures. Yeah, no, um, it I, it was there like the day after surgery. Oh, they told okay. us like, oh, if there's something going on, you'll be put back in surgery the next day. They didn't see it because Fisher actually doesn't actually look at everything until a week out. So she'll the next day you go in and she just pulled it back to make sure your nipples are still there. But if she had seen this, it was calcified. She said it's one of those rare things like one mm. in three thousand get it. She goes, of course you got it, Charlie. So it, it was this <laughs> like calcified hematoma. And it was like almost the size of a, a small golf ball, yeah. a ping pong mm. ball, and it kind of fucked me out because after you get your chest cut off and then you have this but uh yeah so i'll i went back for that how soon after a year so okay. december 2006 we tried it in december 2007 it ended up being january 2008 whatever okay but um it was good because i kind of had a little kind of short show i have like a pleat here i'm like i'm showing mm -hmm. you on this but i had a pleat which i would not have gone and paid all that money to just get that uh, okay. out so she kind of took that out at the same time so that was good, that was good. i had two cysts one in each yeah how did, what, what happened with that that just from like either like uh Surgical stitch. So this is stuff, like pretty soon after your surgery. Or, uh, I had it one year after, and then another one a year after. So when just you like get something gets stuck. And just like less than six months ago. Did that hurt? Yeah. I don't. Do you feel them a lot? I have protective Barely. sensation 
Not, no. I don't it just have, feels like regular Erotic smelling. sensation was not important to me. Yeah. If it is to you, definitely Perry is your way to go. Or there are some doctors that will do double incision that try to preserve the nipple stock. Like Dr. Mm-hmm. Weiss in New York City, he's exorbitant though. So he was like 10 grand yeah. everyone else was about seven. Like what was important to you with your result? Like Just to be flat. I ne- Before I went into surgery, I never thought like, oh, how are my scars going to turn out? Or how, like... Am I going to be able to be shirtless? I didn't really think about that. I was like, as long as I could just wear a shirt without a binder and like, you know, and be comfortable, then okay, then that's good enough. I was kind of more specific about my scar, um, the way I want, I told her very specifically I wanted straight scars, um, as opposed to really curved, like yours had like a nice Mm -hmm. curve. Back in the day, in the dark ages, when I was coming out to the other they would do what they called the smiling face. Oh, like it would would be up here, right? It was just too much. Yeah, yours have like that natural, comes up like a peck. It was literally like... A circle, and I'm like, oh, oh yeah, I know what you're talking and um, they still do that too. They do. A lot still some, do it. I know, and I'm just like, eh. but uh, Fisher, you know, I've done a lot of pec flies, and she said she could find my pec line really easily, and it really is right along. The one thing I noticed recently that I don't like that someone's pointed out to me, I hate her. They're like, did you, did you know she put the nipples too close to the line? When I do this, I do not like how close it looks to my line. I don't spend my time flexing. I spend mm-hmm. my time walking around like this. So I think it looks okay, but I would rather it be along my yeah, pec line. Really noticeable. Yeah. So that was one thing I was very specific about straight I mean, lines. But probably everyone will have like a, something like imperfect. But it doesn't really bother but me. But so was, does every like cis male probably too. You know? Exactly. Everyone has something imperfect. And it's honestly not something I noticed. Doesn't matter. Weeks ago, so. Oh, really? And I'm you know eight years old, so it's just two weeks ago that I was like, they really are kind of close, but I don't walk around <laughs> like this, so I don't care. But yeah. you know, I think she did a great job. Yeah, no, I think mine came out good too. Too bad Brownstein's retired. I know, but have Fisher's you seen any crane? Yeah, she's still going. Crane is good. Mm-hmm. Air really, yeah. really turn them all out. So, yeah. I mean, <laughs> six guys a day, hey? Um, yeah, that's a lot. Uh, yeah, there's a lot of surgeons now, and a lot is covered by insurance too. So Things are changing. It's, yeah, it's we, awesome. I mean, we both had to pay for ours, right? Yeah, yeah. No insurance. No, back no. In the, yeah, I mean, I had days. insurance. I mean, I haven't had health insurance for years, but I was mm-hmm. on my parents' insurance. Didn't come now, now no, I see dudes same. that are on their parents and they get, I'm like, that's awesome though. Yeah, that's, they get everything covered. Yeah. But not, no, not back, back no. then. Uh, oh, what did you do for like scar care afterwards? Did you do anything? Oh, or? I just, for a while I used vitamin E cream mm-hmm. every day. And now just like if it gets dry, I put some cream on it. Do people still do those like silicone strips like they used to do? I think no. they do it like right after, right? That was like a big deal for everyone. I didn't do that. I just I used, um, it was too much work. <laughs> Dr. Fisher's office told me like Palmer's cocoa butter with vitamin E. I've huh. also bought vitamin E while yeah. I was doing both. Just use it every day for six months. My scar faded great. So. Yeah, mine faded great too. Yeah, Didn't go in the sun much. So. No keloid. Yeah, like, no, no, never that, had. That's a good sun. I live in Florida. Yeah, yeah don't go I'm a sun. surfer, a beach bum. Don't do it. I know guys that got their stuff done. Here. They're like, I've been waiting my whole life for this. I'm going to the sun. No <laughs> Wait one more year. <laughs> their scars are so red. I mean, I went out every day with a shirt on. At night, I would swim shirtless with you. Yeah. But you really got to take care of it. That's, yeah, you do. You got to watch out. Yeah, and uh, it's fun to be flat at the same time. You're going to want to show it off sometimes. You know? yeah, yeah. So, and you want it to look good, and it's a lot of money, so yeah, you should. You know, so <laughs> preserve it. <laughs> right, right. So, what made you go with Brownstein at the time? Was it because uh, I was originally going to go to Garamoni, and I was a minor, and he would refuse oh. to talk to me on the phone. And what? Brownstein would talk to me, and the nurses would talk to of me course. to answer questions. Like I had questions like. If I get surgery while I'm still in high school, am I going to be able to like carry my backpack? Like simple questions. Oh right, and right. Garamoni wouldn't answer any of them, so um, just wouldn't talk to me on the phone. Brownstein would. And Brownstein was like super nice and was like, Yeah, he's yeah of course I'll do it underage. If you're both your parents agree, it's fine. If you right, your parents give you permission to talk to me, that's fine. Like right, right. I can understand where. The, yeah, but not to talk or answer simple yeah, questions Yeah, Brownstein at all. was awesome. Even just like questions I had because I was on the birth control pill and right. so many questions about that. Nothing was on the internet about it and he was yeah, able to answer them all. That's awesome. And you know, Brownstein kind of got a rep for being kind of, I don't know, his personality, not having the best bedside manner. I, I had been to many mm-hmm. surgeries with, you know, accompanying friends stuff. I never found it a problem. No, That's I not, didn't either. He, he was great. He's got a, he's a little bit dry, but not a bad, I mean, he's my kind of humor. He's, he's very, like a regular doctor. I mean, I know he's, he's a nice made guy. him sound like he, know, um, he, even before I, I went in for surgery, like 10 minutes before or whatever, when he was like drawing, I didn't know that like one nipple, I don't even remember which one it was, had two nipples on it. And he was like, yo, I know you don't want to look at your chest because I like, never looked at my right, chest right, or right. examined it. He's like, I know you don't want to look, but you just have to for a second to look and see if I need to take this off or not. It's up to you. Oh, he, well. And he was like, are you like, are you okay? Like, is that okay to yeah. do? And. Totally, like, 
made sure my emotional comfort he understood, he understood gender dysphoria. That was, was like, major with my that's amazing. Surgeon. Just the way that's amazing. It makes all the difference in the it world. It does make such a big difference. Like if they're just aware and you just don't feel like a freak or you know you're they're just seeing you as male. It's important. Yes, especially if you have questions about birth control or other sensitive things. Yeah, or like yeah. when I'm calling the gyno about my histo. So just the way, yeah, it makes yeah, all the difference to have someone that is just yeah. yeah trans well, yeah. Out. Hopefully, uh, if you want top surgery, you'll be able to get it, and yeah. uh, hopefully this this will provide some insight as to why people get top surgery and, and what type of surgeries are out there yeah. and, and why double incision is awesome yeah it's cool no really any you surgery you scars. get i am proud of my scars i really <laughs> didn't want them but i'm proud of them but yeah, also I'm proud of them. it was fisher who told me kind of made the decision well she said if, if it were my body i'd do the double incision mm -hmm. she's like i'll do it and at 24 hours before it's one of those things that, i don't know about you but i mean i wrestled with i wanted scars or not. yeah and it was hard i'm glad so yeah and, and, and another thing People get mad, um, or they think it's gonna out them. I, I've never noticed or know. Like, have you ever noticed that? Like, oh, no, ugh, no one said anything ever. to me. Cause uh, people get this surgery for different reasons. They don't. It doesn't necessarily mean anything. My friend's Plus dad has so identical scars from a double lung transplant. He yeah. actually asked. It. He's like, have you had? I was like, uh, no. You don't know. It was just funny. But like, yeah, it. Uh, <laughs> I've been asked. I think once in eight years. It was just oh, they really? asked if I had a medical procedure. Nothing. But yeah, I mean, only one time directly. And so I think people get. You don't have to worry about it. Just tell them you were a magician's assistant for several years and it did not work out well. So Yeah. Yeah, so Cool. Well yeah, yeah thanks so much for watching. Yes, thank Bye you. everyone. Peace. Sweet. I'm like knock him out.